What's up guys? Yo, welcome back to Boost Brothers Garage. Today we are going to install a complete tow hook slash GoPro slash license plate solution? Solution system thing? Yeah, from Ray Sang. Stay tuned. We'll start by just showing you guys the tow hook itself. Everything else that we have here are accessories for that tow hook. Just like the shift knob video we did, the racing shift knob, uh, the packaging and everything is top notch. Uh, it's all, you know, cut foam. It's got their logo in it and stuff. It's, it's just really nice. The system starts with this shaft right here. This shaft goes into where your factory tow hook would. And then from there, they mount the tow hook itself or a license plate frame or etc etc now on to the install very first thing you're going to do take a plastic pry tool you're going to just pry off your factory tow hook cover like that racing has instructions for how to actually drill this out so you can reuse it to where it will sit this will sit flush inside I don't know that I want to do that right yet um, because if I do sell this car, I'm taking this tow hook with me for the Cayman because with this shaft, the tow hook itself is interchangeable. So you would just need to replace this actual piece here to have the Porsche threads, which racing actually does carry. Once you get the cover off, take a wire brush and just go and clean the inside of the threads to make sure that all the debris that may have been picked up from the road is out of there. Ray Sang recommends that you put some grease on as you thread this in. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of lubricant. Easy as just threading it in. You're going to hand tighten it down into there, which is hard to do when you have grease on your hand. And then you'll take a 20 mil socket and you will just tighten her down. That is the first piece to the tug system and I will say I talked to Jarrett uh, the owner of Ray Sang a little bit about this they actually <laughs> they rented out a entire day of testing with the a National Highway Trophy Traffic Safety Administration. Yes so they he rented out an entire day of testing just the tow hook they said they'd never seen anybody do that but this thing went above and beyond and I think when it did finally fail um, all it did was elongate the actual hook itself. It didn't even snap. Um, so as long as you're towing correctly, this thing will get you out of any situation that you need. With it greased up and the nut seated all the way down, you will go ahead and start threading it in. Once you start to get to the point where this tightens up, that's where you'll use this nut to adjust it so you can make sure that it's in the ang direction angle that you'd like it to be. So right about there and it's all set. Now what I didn't show you is there's actually an Allen key on this side right here and you can actually tighten that. So if you want it straight out, you can tighten it to be straightened out. I'm gonna tighten mine to where it hangs down but it won't come back and mar up the paint. All right, so it's still loose enough that if I need to have it flipped up to be used, it can, but it's tight enough that it's not gonna come back and just beat against the paint of the bumper. That is the racing tug mount tow hook system. And like everything else that we've had from them, it seems to be extremely high quality and well thought out. Uh, the engraving in it just is above and beyond what you would expect on you know, a tow hook, but that's how they do business and, and uh, that's why we appreciate their parts. Okay, so now we're gonna show you a few of the accessories that you can get to go with it. The next piece of this puzzle that we're gonna look at, it's called the Tug View. And basically this is an adapter so that you can run your GoPro mounted directly right here, which is a really nice solution. A lot of tracks don't let you run GoPros on suction cups, which, Makes sense, you don't really want that whole thing bouncing down the track into another car. So doing it to this provides a very, very secure mounting location. Plus it's kind of a cool view being on the front of the car and seeing the wide open track. We open this box up 
and it's a pretty simple but smart design. This clamp has your standard GoPro type mounts and on the bottom of this right here there is an Allen screw that I've already taken out. So this literally just goes right here. It's a nice snug fit and then you screw this Allen nut back into place and you've got your GoPro mount right there. It also comes with this machined aluminum and engraved and everything like all their stuff uh, bar you know instead of using the the GoPro plastic ones which kind of suck. I went ahead and bolted that into place it's just that one allen screw on the bottom then you'll take your GoPro slide it in here and this allen bolt that this comes with slides through the side if I can get everything lined up and then your nice aluminum shaft goes here and that's it it's it's a really simple idea but it's executed really well and it's just a, a nice design and a great accessory for something like the tow hook that's that's going to be there anyway zach do you think we should go take it for a quick rip and see what kind of gopro footage we can get yep let's do it <laughs> next piece we've got is a little bit different. It still uses that same tug shaft that everything originates from, but we'll be getting rid of the tow hook and in its place we have a front license plate bracket, which is all CNC machined. It's got a brushed finish on it. It's absolutely gorgeous. On the back to mount to the tug shaft you've got this pivot ball mount uh, and this threaded piece here and the pivot ball just goes into these cnc brackets and then you tighten those two bolts down once you have it in whatever position you want uh, you can see where they've engraved their logo into the back of this plate just like the tow hook and everything else in order to install this we're going to go ahead and pull the tow hook itself off i didn't really read the instructions on this one so I'm going to take this mount off from here. I'll screw it in, get it where I want it, and then put it all back together. Which the nice thing is all these different holes here, we can align this actual plate itself up anywhere we want, regardless of where the mount is on the bumper. Get it where we want it. And then we can put the plate over here. We can put it over here, we can put it right in the middle, we can do whatever we want. I think I like it kind of low, it goes like this. So let's put this guy here, and that's it. Now we can throw a license plate on, and here in the state of Ohio, we're completely legal. Last but not least, to finish this entire system out, we also have the GoPro mount that attaches to the front plate. This is called the tug plate view. Very similar to what we saw before, except this bolts directly to the plate right here. Super easy to install. It just goes right here. It also comes with its own knob and screw. So we'll slide our GoPro in here and voila, we're all set. When I took this off, because we're going to put the tow hook back on, uh, I took it off a different way and I took the ball out of its little mount right here. And then I realized that the ball has a machine spot for an Allen wrench in it. So when you go to put it in, you can tighten it with an Allen wrench. So it makes a lot of sense. Uh, and yeah, if I read the instructions, I probably would have realized that. Zach has now decided that he does want to go ahead and try to drill a hole in this. So in order to figure out exactly where to drill, I've taken a little bit of grease and I put it on the end of the shaft here. And I'm gonna try to go ahead and line this up as it should. And hopefully we'll get the grease transfer on the back and we'll know where to drill. There we have it. I'm gonna start this scary process by drilling a pilot hole.
And then we're going to move to the step bit. You went too big, didn't you? Me? Yeah. No? Would you look at that? I'll be honest. I didn't think that was going to go nearly as well as it did. That's the racing tow tug system. And I think it's self-explanatory that these guys just go above and beyond. I mean, who would have thought to make something so universal? You can go from daily driving to track very simply. It's just really smart all around. Um, and like we keep saying, quality is amazing. It doesn't show up on video very well or even pictures on their website. It's hard to see. It, everything is machined. I mean, this little GoPro mount looks like it could be plastic, but it's all like CNC to aluminum. It's crazy. That's that. Couldn't be happier. And I highly recommend all you guys to go out, even if it's just a shift knob, if you don't have a use for a tow hook. Their shift knobs just are like a piece of art inside the cabin. They are heavy into the Subaru market, Toyota FRS, WRX, STI, uh, BMW. They're now doing Porsche, and I'm sure there's some other that, others that I'm missing. But don't hesitate to reach out to them with any questions. Uh, also, comment below if you have any questions for us, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.